a request that I get a lot from clients is, can we have two buttons in our header? And a lot of the time it could be something like current users sign in, so like sign into a portal. And then the other one is just a simple contact button, or it could just be book a call and contact or something like that. For a lot of nonprofits I work with, it's contact and donate. So tons of different options, and I'm gonna show you how to do it in the most simple and effective way because it's not a native option on Squarespace. So in this example, we've got contact and login. What we wanna do is open up Chrome Developer Tools. So to do that, we click Shift, Command, and C. And then we wanna look at our header navigation here. And then we find what these are actually called in terms of targeting them. So let's just click on one, and we find this here. So I'm looking at this, I think header nav item looks about right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that and I'm going to go into website, website tools and custom CSS. And then within there, I'm going to paste it. And then I'm going to say nth child brackets, and then I'm going to put the numbers. So we have four navigation items here. What we want to do is target the last two. So we say in this instance, number three, and then we're gonna open up some brackets. And within there, we're gonna put a border, first of all. So border, solid, one PX, and then we can pick a color. So we'll just say um, black. So there we go. Now we can see we've got a little bit of a weird padding issue here. So we wanna put some padding to the sides. So padding, and then we'll say 10 PX and then 20 PX. And what we can see here is that actually everything else needs the same padding. So to do that, we'll just take the same target from there, paste it here, and then we're just going to add that same padding into there. Now it's going to put lots of padding to the sides. So for this, we can probably get rid of the side one and just keep the top and the bottom. And you can see that keeps it a bit tighter. So we're looking good. Now what we want to do is just grab this copy it and then pop four in the brackets and now you can see already we've got our buttons now a lot of people will have these as different colors so for this maybe we don't give this a border maybe we make it solid in which case we would put background and then we'd say make this black as well now obviously we're going to need to put the color in there so what we need to do for the color is just grab this pop it down there and we're going to put color and then we're going to stick white in there and then all we need to do is just add an a after the brackets so that just means we're targeting the link in particular now that's that set up we might want some form of hover effect so if you want to do a hover effect let's just add it to both for instance we'll grab this and we'll stick it under here and then we'll grab this and we'll stick this under here as well put a comma between them, open up some new brackets, and then we're gonna do a transition first of all. So I'll just put 0 0.2, and then we're gonna say, and hover, open up some new brackets, stick a transition on it. And then in there, we're gonna put something like, just do filter, invert, 100. So that just means it's gonna flip the colors like so. That's probably the easiest thing to do. You can go crazy on this if you want. You can make them bespoke to each button. So for instance, if you wanted to do just on the third, we can fill this in. So it would look like getting rid of this first of all. And then the hover effect would just simply be background. And we change that then to black, like so. And then obviously we need to change the color of that. So the hover, we'd then put A, squiggly brackets, color, Ooh, can't spell color and then stick that as white as well and then there you go and before what we do is we would open up some new lines we grab this and then save ourselves some time we copy this stick that in there and then we're going to change the background to transparent and then we're going to change the color to black and there we go. So each is an inverse of itself. Now, in the code in the blog, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave the code in there for the inversion filter because that's just the easiest one to do. If you want, you can manually just watch this video and plug the code in 
um, if you want to do these two. Completely up to you. But anyway, that is how you have two buttons in your header on Squarespace. Hopefully, you found that useful. If you did, please make sure to leave a like and hit subscribe. And if you want me to build your Squarespace website, you can get in touch using the links in the description.